filming indoors today because the whole nation is currently <clears throat> in a deep freeze, including this part of South Florida where we had temperatures in the high 30s last night, which is very cold for here. Um, although my kids and grandkids in Chicago were suffering at minus nine uh, this morning and my friends in Albany were suffering at minus two. <clears throat> so I guess we don't have too much to complain about, but it's still a little too cold to be uh, filming in the, the garage, which is where I usually film. <clears throat> Today, uh, I'm going to um, show you my new uh, Big Agnes pad. If you will remember from a while ago, uh, I had uh, uh, damaged my pad. I had uh, one Big Agnes pad for many years and eventually uh, it developed some leaks that I couldn't repair. And so uh, I took, recycled it and ordered a new one. This is the newest version. It's called a Q-Core, insulated Q-Core. Um, you see it still, it still has the tags, just it's brand new. So we're going to open it, we're going to inflate it, and uh, see what uh, this is all about. I liked the Big Agnes pads because you can see the size of them. Um, it's a two and a half to three inch insulated pad, thick, thick when it's inflated, but it, it packs up very small, which is great for uh, putting things in a kayak. Uh, the self-inflating pads, I just can't get small enough that they go into the kayak easily. Uh, without taking too much room. So this <coughs> this pad has a, zoom back a little bit is a, I can see that already that it's a different material uh, uh, it has a different feel to it although the basic shape of the Big Agnes pad is the same. This one is I think the standard. I think they run uh, like 22 by 70 something um, and as I said, it's, it's insulated and it's several inches thick when you get it inflated. So what we're going to do next <clears throat> is inflate this guy. And um, we'll back up a little more. And then I'll show you how it pairs with the uh, Big Agnes um, sleeping bag. Usually it takes me about 20 puffs to do this. And you, there are all kinds of mechanical ways that you can inflate the bag, but I'm going to, I usually do it by mouth. Well, this pad took me about 23 uh, puffs. I'm not sure why it took longer. Maybe it's going to take more time to inflate this pad, but it's got a different look to the, it's more quilted on the, on the outside here. Um, I'm not sure you can see that, so I'll bring it in a little bit, uh, a little bit closer. It's got this quilted pattern, and then it's got these tubes along the side, and they're supposed, to, these are supposed to keep you from rolling off the pad. Now, that's a problem with a lot of sleeping pads. You wind up sleeping on the ground and not on the pad. Um, and so that's supposed to help with that. Now, now I use a Big Agnes uh, sleeping bag, and the Big Agnes sleeping bag takes advantage of the insulation in the pad uh, to eliminate the insulation in the back or the underside of the bag. So this goes inside a uh, sleeve in the bag. This insulates your back, and then the insulation is on the top. That allows you to carry a, a, a bag that's a little bit smaller and a little bit lighter. So let me show you all about that. I keep my Big Agnes bag. This is a, supposed to be a 15 degree bag. I've never found any of them to be accurate in terms of I'd be freezing in 15 degrees in this bag without a whole lot of other clothing on. Um, so I don't really find that to be accurate, but it works for me most of the time. It's packed in a cotton bag. Uh, which Big Agnes sends with their stuff sack. Um, and the reason is that this is the way they want the bag stored. They don't want it uh, packed into a stuff sack. They want it stored loosely and, so that it can breathe. So I, I actually have hooks and pulleys and I hang this in my closet. I have a closet with a 10-foot ceiling and so 
This goes in my closet where, where I keep it uh, stored. The bag itself, <coughs> is, it's, a, it's supposedly a rectangular bag, but it's got a semi, it's got a semi um, mummy shape. Uh, I don't know if you can see that at all. It's got a nice hood, uh, like a mummy bag would, and it can, you can pull it tight around your collar. It's also got a, uh, a, a collar on the inside, and it's got a seam down the, uh, the zippered uh, area here that keeps the cold air out. In the back is this sack in, into which you stuff the, the pad. So that'll be the next thing I'll do. I'll stuff the pad and we'll back up a little bit so uh, this might make a little more sense. Now it's important that you are careful to get the insulated side against your back. And that's the, that's the light side here. So basically what I do is take the pad, uh, again, I get to see my, my feet here. This, this one's stiffer than the other pad, which is probably a good thing. And then I slide out of the camera a lot for that, but you can kind of get the pad to fold a little bit so that it slides easily into the sleeve. And again, this is the first time with this pad. Um, and I would probably leave it a little underinflated until I got it in the bag and then would inflate it to what I want, but when we're all done, we have a bag and a pad that's integrated. I'm not going to fall off of the pad. Um, <clears throat> it's going to keep me warm, and uh, it's a system I really like. Um, this is a synthetic bag, um, and that means that even if it's damp or wet, it'll keep me warm. Now. I've avoided a down, down bags for kayak camping just for that purpose. So I'll do a, a, a more thorough review of the Big Agnes sleeping system at another point. But that's, uh, that's the new bag, or the new uh, pad, and how it goes in my existing Big Agnes bags. And that's all for now. We'll see you again. Stay warm.